or how have you seen um, condos within your market adapt to working from home? Yeah, to be honest, they've actually adapted really, really well. I think financial services, um, you know, historically, it wasn't really the norm to to work remotely in, in most companies compared to, you know, with the likes of maybe a tech company. Um, so it was it was a big, you know, big change for people and, and for employers as well. But I think across the board, they were very quick to, to adapt to it. Um, companies were obviously quick to get the technology in place and get people set up working from home mm-hmm. in a short space of time. Um, but definitely candidates, it's something I think that they really enjoy and really want now in the long term from speaking with them and I think having that option maybe to have one or two days working from home in the longer term is something we're being asked about when we're talking about jobs is this something that will be you know an option in the in the longer term so it it definitely seems that it's it's something that um people want um and are looking for and I think in terms of productivity I think you know, employees have pr- have shown that they can be as a pro- productive, um, I suppose, working from home as well. Yeah. And that's something even on the flip side, talking with um, with companies, with employers, they're saying, yeah, this is something, you know, we, we wouldn't have offered previously, but going forward, um, we'd hope to, you know, incorporate that remote working piece um, in the longer term, which I think is really, really, really positive and hopefully will, will you know, help people with um, work-life balance, commuting times, etc. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's about getting that balance right. But um, if one thing the pandemic has shown us, it absolutely is possible and also very possible to recruit from home as well, you know, absolutely. which has, um, how, how have you found that? How have you, um, I suppose, been preparing your candidates um, for interviewing yeah. via Zoom, Skype, MS Teams? Yeah, I think, again, initially it was very new for a lot of people. They had never Mm -hmm. done, you know, a virtual interview. Um, You know, we're used to meeting people face to face and didn't know how to maybe build rapport with them over a video call. Um, So it was a little bit daunting. But I think, yeah, I think at this stage, we're 12 months in now. um, Everyone has kind of adapted to it very, very well. Mm -hmm. And I think in terms of preparing candidates, um, yeah, it's it's usually, it's it's basically using or utilising, you know, the technology we have. So, yeah the zoom calls we're using ms teams most people are using them in work anyway on a day-to-day so it's really kind of just um getting people more confident practicing it with them and you know i suppose letting them kind of be confident going into the interview um i think on both sides obviously employers they know as well this is something new for for people and a, a different way of interviewing so they are understanding of that and um, but i think it's 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 being prepared making sure your camera is working making Absolutely. sure your you know your Sometimes. sound is working yeah mm-hmm. make sure there's no no issues and on, on, on connect activity etc but um no by and large I think it's it's been really smooth in terms of interview processes um and as well as that I think some co- some companies we're dealing with have even said you know in the longer term this is something that they may continue to use when when things are back to normal eventually and back in the office that maybe they'll do initial interviews remotely kind of going forward because I think it does offer probably a little bit more flexibility with scheduling Absolutely. and yes, time wise yes. as well so it, yeah. can, it can work on both sides quite well. Absolutely. And I think it, it's very important because it, it doesn't take time out of, you know, candidates and a, and a client's um, day-to-day side of things, having to get to and from the office. I mean, of course, there's nothing like meeting somebody in person for sure, but it's certainly, I do agree with you, it could, um, you know, very much kind of shorten that first and second round process, which would be very beneficial yeah. to the recruitment process. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think we're going to see more and more of it going forward. Yeah. Absolutely.